Yeah. She's doing like a, you know, a simple review on uh, the Dr. Dre and Eminem song, I Need a Doctor. This is the full one. You can check out the link at the bottom so you can listen to it or whatever. But um, a lot of people like myself, they don't understand, man. The beat is nice. The hook is nice. Lyrics are nice. And I think Dr. Dre, I was talking to Steve about this a long time ago. Dr. Dre is the only person that can get probably get a pass with a ghostwriter because his flow and delivery is so nice that you really don't care who writes his stuff. It's just, I guess he's the only one that can get a pass. And like beat-wise, the beats are crazy. And not to be random, but man, niggas been waiting on detox since, what, 04? <laughs> like... I know he dropping songs now, you know he even dropping videos, but we still don't believe you because we, we got to wait until it come like, you know, they say, oh, the official date going to be this, and then they delay it, they delay it. I don't care what artist is with Aftermath or, or Shady Records, somebody just need to say, look, man, we've been waiting this for, for years, we need this to drop. Can y'all just pause their albums, man, because a lot of them, they trying to be a little... I know you want to get your shine on, but damn, we waiting on Detox for like a minute, man. It kind of reminds me of when Raekwon was supposed to come out with Cuban Links. You know, it's been five years. He came out with it. It was a classic album, but damn. Like, why we got to wait this long? We do not want to see Dr. Dre performing on stage in the hover round. I'm just saying. Just, just my opinion. But, uh... Check out the song. The song is hot, you know. Um, the hook is crazy as hell. You know, I'm a hook and beep person. And lyrically, you know, Eminem kill it, uh, killed the shit. But, um, you know, em you remember back in the day when Eminem, what was that song with T.I. and Eminem? It was called Touchdown. That's when he, he you know, he was kind of terrible. He was on drugs. like. And, like, a lot of people saying he's overrated. But, I mean, you can't really. I mean, if he was black, it, you know, he'd still be nice. But, you know. Him being white, white, I guess it gave him a little bit more. But, but he's still nice, though. You can't take that away from him. A lot of people just, oh, man, he ain't that. Like, if you listen to him lurkly, like, the stuff he say is crazy. I remember that one line he said that was on that Nicki Minaj uh, shit. But I only li I skipped her part and listened to him because, you know, I'm not a fan. He said something, uh, something about making a ha piss a Happy Meal off, man. That shit was so crazy. I wouldn't even think... Like, I write lyrics myself. I wouldn't even think of writing some shit like that. But, that, like, the song is crazy. You need to check it out, man.